So here we have Country Coach 2008 Intrigue 530. It's got the Cat 525 diesel pusher in it. Um, Coach has been on the coast in Newport for about 18 months. Um, the corrosion that's taken place with it sitting there, and obviously my bad, should have taken it out once a week or once a month and had it cleaned out and cleaned all the salt off it. But nevertheless, it's back home now. It's in the garage and doing some much needed maintenance. Um, in taking the brake caliper and taking the pads out, the pads weren't worn very much compared to the others, but there's new pads going in here anyway. And when I start looking at, there's a floor, a design floor that um, Country Coach seems to have um, missed. The caliper <coughs> doesn't move. It won't slide in and out full length. That's that's the maximum this caliper's moving. And the reason why the brake pads are not wearing is because as the brake pads wear, the caliper moves inward. This is not going inward because the adjuster for the calipers is hitting, as you can see. It's hitting on the ride wall chassis rail that holds the airbag. We can get a better picture. And it's, it's in there. So as the brakes wear, they're only going to wear down until that hits <coughs> the rail and the calipers are not going to pull in any further. It's pretty bad, in my opinion, anyway. I haven't worked on automotive for 20 years. As a design engineer, that's pretty bad. There's an aluminum adjuster in here, which you're supposed to use for adjusting in and out. This, by the feel of it, has got it in there. One quick fix is I can take that out. So here we have the rubber cap. The dust cap, water cap removed, and we can see the little aluminum hexagonal 10 millimeter adjuster that goes on to the spline on the inner part of the Bendix caliper here. I'll remove that. That is only there for adjusting the caliper. It doesn't have to be in when you're running. You just need to put it back on when you're doing the adjusters. As it happens in this particular instance, it's it's hitting. It's hitting this. There we go. That's a better picture. And it's stopping the caliper moving all the way in. So. You can see here, that's what's stopping that caliper going. What I'll do is I'll take that out. So this is it removed. And this is the little hexagonal splined, if you can see this. And it's aluminum. And it's designed so that you don't over torque and potentially break the internals of this caliper. So as you see now, it's still hitting. The spline's still hitting on that part of the, the chassis rail for this ride well suspension unit. This is where the airbag sits. But you can also see from the adjuster how much more movement we have on this. So as a solution, I'm going to leave this out for now, put the rubber cap back on, but the rubber cap still hits. And when I take the brake caliper off, I'm gonna machine just a small piece out the bottom of that. Not enough to make any serious structural issues or stress issues, but enough so it doesn't hit because it will do damage and it will damage this caliper. Now here's the rubber cap reinstalled. You can see it's depressing the cap. But we still have considerably more movement on this caliper than we had before. It's not totally free and it's not good. 
until I remedy that foul condition in there. But advisable, take a look at it. As I said, get your mechanic, get your workshop to take a look at this and make sure you clear that foul condition on this caliper. So the main reason I'm putting this video together is because I believe this particular setup is used across many coach variants, Magna, Intrigues might even be the allures if they use the same. This is a 20,000 pound per axle Ridewell RD246 on this particular coach with a tag axle. Now, if that's the case, you might want to go and check your coaches or have them check to see if you've got the same foul condition. I don't see why you wouldn't. It's pretty tight in there and um, if you have got the same foul condition, you need to do something about it. The quick and easy solution to get you more movement on this caliper is to take that little aluminum sacrificial lamb cap out and say, keep it in the coach. You're not probably gonna use it because you're not gonna be doing the brake adjustments unless you are like me and ambitious and you wanna start jacking the coach up and playing around with this heavy equipment. Other than that, get your local mechanic or Wherever you take the coach, get them to look at that and remedy it. So, hey, this is me. This is the guy that's been talking in that video. Um, thought I'd share this particular issue I found on my coach because it's a little bit disconcerting why the brakes weren't that tremendous as they were starting to wear down on my coach and you could noticeably feel the difference. So that's one of the reasons I started pulling these brakes apart so I'm having a look, changing the pads. Um, it doesn't do them very good to sit there and let them languish in the salt air as it tends to corrode and rot the pads away in my case. I've got pictures of those. Not quite seen pads like that, that bad before. Anyway, in this particular rear brake, the passenger side, um, it wasn't that effective. And when I pulled it out, I noticed this foul condition. So this is part one of the video, which identifies the foul condition. The second part of the video I'm going to put together is the the revision I've done to that little, um, the Rival suspension rail that comes out there to give us plenty of clearance so this brake caliper can move freely, 100% in and out without any more foul conditions. So stay tuned for that one. And that will be coming up shortly. Anyway, for now, see you later.